What's going on YouTube? Keith Moore Jr. here. And today's video is gonna be a little something different. I'm going to do a little bit of a rant to talk about something that has been bothering me for years. So I do not, for the life of me, understand why people allow their jobs to consume them so much they, that they do not prioritize their own health and fitness. If something happens to you, that job will have a posting out the next week to replace you. You only get one body. So first and foremost, stop using the excuse of you're too busy to work out or take care of your body because that is BS, that's garbage. I see the same people that always say this, they're going out to eat, they're constantly drinking, and then they will say, well, I don't have time to work out or I'm working out but I'm not seeing any changes. Well, contrary to what you see on Instagram, TikTok, and all that mess, you need to make changes. You need to make some sacrifices. You can't continue to do the same thing you've been doing with your diet, with your workouts, the stuff that hasn't worked for you in the past, and then it's all of a sudden going to work. You have to work hard. You have to sacrifice. That's what it's going to take. These are the same conversations that I have with myself when I'm slacking or when I'm being lazy. So I feel like tough love needs to be shown to everybody if they really want to be the best version of themselves. I realize I only get one shot at this thing called life. So on the days if I don't feel like working out, as long as I'm not injured, I'm going to go to the mirror, talk to myself and say, you need to get outside in the gym, wherever it may be, change your scenery if you need to. But I constantly see people trying to cater to a specific audience and not telling them the truth telling them they can continue to eat the cupcakes that they can continue to eat the garbage and that that's perfectly fine look I don't know anybody that looks up to average people everybody I know when they're admiring somebody they're looking up to people that are elite anybody that is elite has made a sacrifice to get there so why do you think you can achieve their results by doing average things or the things that you've been doing? Now, I'm not saying you have to want to be elite. I'm saying that in order for you to achieve any goal in life, but specifically health and fitness goals, you're going to have to make changes and sacrifices. That's just what it is. And you might have trainers or influencers out there that tell you that's not the case and I completely disagree with them but hey that's that's their way of doing things but with me I preach hard work dedication consistency discipline all that good stuff because the people that I watch and that I look up to for motivation they all made sacrifices to get to where they are so I just wanted to put that rant out there because my mindset has been this way for a while so that's why i don't go out to eat a lot go out for drinks and stuff like that because i don't care about that stuff like i'll do that stuff periodically but that's not fun to me like come to the gym with me come to the park work out with me that is stuff that i enjoy doing so i'm not going to sacrifice what i enjoy doing to do something that one is going to make my health worse off and it's going to make me not want to work out I'm not gonna sacrifice that just to do what everyone else is doing. And even with the working out, like I don't expect people to work out as much as I do, but people have to realize that this requires a sacrifice. So when I do these workouts and I record these videos, I still need to prioritize things like sleep and eating right and things like that because I can't be out drinking running the streets, doing all that, and then still achieve optimal results. Maybe there are people that can, but I have not seen those people. The people I follow, they work hard, they stay consistent. So I just want to put this rant out there today because I'm actually about to go to work for today. I just finished a morning workout and it would have been a lot easier for me to wake up right before work and just go to my office and you know, get my work day started. But instead, wake up 4.30 a.m., work on some meal and workout plans for my clients, come to the park, work out, and I feel amazing. Got some sunlight in, 
and now I'm going to go work. But when work gets busy for me, I never, ever, and I'm not saying this is a good thing, but I will never be like, I'm not working out today because of work. No, that work is just gonna have to get finished tomorrow because I'm not prior to prioritizing anything at any job that's not my own company for my own health and fitness. And yes, I do have my own personal training company where I do online meals and things like that, but that works hand in hand with me working out, recording videos and things like that. And I also have another business but that business I do with a partner. So we work together in that. But I will never allow any job to make me become out of shape to where I'm not staying consistent and just saying, okay, I'm not gonna work out today because of work. I don't care what the deadline is. So, you know, you gotta make sacrifices, but realize this health and fitness thing is not something to take lightly. This is not something that's temporary. I'm constantly learning. I'm going to go read some stuff today to learn more so i just want to put that rant out there it's been a little minute since i did a rant been some years but i just had to get that off my chest like the video subscribe to the channel catch you on the next one peace